How to use Spotify from your desktop. If you've just downloaded Spotify to your desktop, here's a quick tutorial of how to use the app and all of its helpful features. Once you open Spotify's desktop app, you're brought to the home screen. This is your main dashboard, and if you scroll down, you can find playlists sorted by different themes and moods. You can also find popular albums and artists featured on Spotify. You can begin playing a playlist or an album simply by clicking the play button when you hover over the thumbnail. Otherwise, you can double click the title and you'll be brought to the page for that playlist or artist or album. When you scroll down, you can see all of the songs featured. If you want to just start playing the full playlist or album, you can just click play. If you want to listen to a specific song, you can hover over the song and click the play button on the left hand side. If you're searching for a specific song or album or artist, you can use the search bar at the top of your screen to find them. And when you do search them, all of the related content will appear. So because we searched an artist, their artist profile comes up. You can see any playlists that feature the artist, songs, albums, playlists, and more. Alternatively, you can use the Browse tab in the left-hand menu to also find different music options. Spotify provides different genre and moods that you can find music by, so if you're looking for a specific type of music or feel, you can use these sorted topics to find them. So let's say if we were to click Summer, you'll see different summer themed playlists appear in our search. You can also sort your browse by podcasts, charts, so if you're looking for a top 40 chart in a specific location, that's usually located here. New releases, discover, and under the concert tab, you can see a list of concerts happening in your location. The next tab on the left hand menu is radio. Radio is very similar to playlists, but these are created by Spotify. It's usually based off of an artist, but it can also be a theme or a mood. And these radio playlists are constantly updated by Spotify so that they stay fresh and vary from time to time. So now that we've gone through the different tabs of how to discover music, we're going to look at your different playing options and how you can create playlists and store music to listen to in the future. So we're going to search for Pearl Jam again and we'll click an album. At the top of your album page, just below the title, you'll see a little heart icon. When you click the heart icon, you're saving the album to your library. If you click the three dots for more options beside the heart icon, you have the option to go to the artist's radio. So if Pearl Jam has a radio playlist that Spotify has created, you can go to that. You can go to the artist, so if you want to see the artist page for Pearl Jam, you can select that. If you need to remove the title from your library, you can click remove from your library. You have the option to add the album to a playlist, and you can also share the album, whether that's on social media, if you want to copy the album link, copy the embed code, or copy the Spotify URI. For specific songs, there's also a heart icon. And when you select this, it adds the song to your Like Songs tab. And on the right hand side, you have three dots for more options. When you click that, you can add it to your queue, which is your lineup of songs that you're listening to. You can go to Song Radio, so you can find a radio playlist that the song is featured in. You can go to the artist, show the song credits. Remove the song from your liked songs, add it to a playlist, and also share either on social media or by copying various links. If we play the song, the song begins playing, and at the bottom of your screen you have your control center. Here you can choose to shuffle the songs if you're listening to a playlist or an album, you can go to the previous song or the next song by clicking the forward or backwards buttons. You can pause the song and you can repeat it by clicking the repeat icon. You select it once it repeats the album or the playlist once it hits the end. 
And if you click it twice, it repeats the song over and over again. On your right hand side, you have your cue icon. And if you click this, it displays your play cue, which shows what's playing currently and what's playing next. So if you're listening to music and there's a song that you want to play next, but you're not finished listening to your current song, you can always add it to your cue so it automatically starts playing. If you unselect the cue button, you go back to the page that you were just at. Beside the cue icon is your devices available, and this displays any devices that you have connected to your Spotify account. And finally, you have your volume, which you can move the slider to adjust the volume of the music. So once you have songs added to your library and your like songs, you can find them on the left-hand side under your library. And if you click like songs, all of your like songs will appear in this one playlist. If you select albums, all of the albums that you added to your library are featured here. If you add an artist to your library, they'll be under the Artists tab, and any podcasts that you add to your library will be under Podcasts. At the top of your library section, you'll find Made For You. This is where Spotify takes all the data of what you frequently play and creates a curated page based on the artists and genres that you listen to. Finally, you have Recently Played which shows everything that you've recently played, which is really helpful if you're looking for a song that you played a while ago, but don't remember the title or the artist. The final section of Spotify, which is probably the most used section as well, is playlists. The great thing about Spotify is that you can easily create your own playlists using the various songs, artists, and albums featured on Spotify. You can either create a new playlist by selecting new playlist in the bottom corner, or if you go to an album or a song and click the three dots for more options, you can click add to playlist from the drop down and then select new playlist to create a playlist with that song included. So as you can see under our playlist, we now have even flow as a playlist option. So once you have a playlist created, you do have some options. If you select the three dots beside the play button, you can make your playlist a secret if you don't want it to be public to everybody on Spotify. You can edit the details of your playlist, which includes your title and a description and the thumbnail image, and you can delete your playlist. If you ever want to add another song to your playlist, click the more options icon for the song, and from the drop down, select Add to Playlist, and then choose the playlist that you want to add it to. If we go back to our playlist, you'll now see that both songs have been added. And that's everything you need to know on how to get started with Spotify on your desktop app. If this video helped you, let us know by liking it or commenting below. And don't forget to subscribe for more how-to instructional videos.